Hello, Level Humans, and I want to talk about how to throw in World of Tanks Blitz, or how not to, or how to capitalize off the enemy team throwing, ideally, and ideally you don't want to be the one that does the throwing. Now, here we have Hotel Hot Talk in the M6 Yacht, and it already doesn't start off great by being on this side, which is not something you should ideally do, and obviously one of the mediums already paid for it, and he's now dead. Well, it's a light tank, but eh, same thing. So, that's not great. The other medium and one heavy are retreating, so the position over there is really bad. On this side, we have a KPZ-70 and 100 Now, the important thing is, if you want to win in a situation like this, where you can already see that it's not looking good, right? This is already not looking good. What you want to do is you don't want to just charge in like a clown, lose all your hit points and die. No. You want to preserve those hit points. You want to ideally do a lot of damage as well while doing that. But you don't want to lose a lot of hit points because the, obviously the more hit points you have, the more shots you can take at the end, the more you can trade, the better you'll be off in a 1vx situation. So in this case, try to keep your hit points for as long as possible. And obviously, <laughs> the better armor you have, the easier that is. And the worse aim the enemy does have as well on that IS-7. Now the IS-4 is dead, which is not great. And now it's a 5 versus 7, which is still recoverable. However, the thing is, obviously, when they have more tanks, they can do more damage than less tanks. Which sort of snowballs eventually. Which means what you want to do is you want to take out tanks. Is, is this E100? You want to get rid of the enemy guns. If he can't fire, he's not a threat. Fortunately, that hero bounces off the KPZ, so he's still alive. Now, the thing with the yaw is, this is a two-shot gun, which means the DPM is relatively low. Which is not great. However, you do have 900 damage in 1.7 seconds. That also means that anything that is above 900 damage, you can't kill. Which is making it more difficult, because obviously, if it's not 900 damage, you have to stay at a distance, because, you know, otherwise you just get pushed and die. Which is not great. Now, stuff like this is great. The R7 is not looking. It's the back. Shoot him. Boom. Free damage. And it's still on full hit points. Now, the Leopard is also dead. I have no idea why he would be there, but... I guess that's the thing now. I mean, we can already see that E100 is also taking a lot of fire and he is going to get wrecked. The I7 here is a pretty easy target. He's somewhat isolated. So that would be the goal. But awareness, awareness and aim. Could have killed that FV there if it would have high rolled. So could have aimed a bit better there. But now again, you want to reload. Two of the guys are one shot. So basically, it's only the E5 and uh, Hot Dog here that are still alive. So two versus five in the end essentially which means you want to take out guns right because whatever tank can't hurt you you know they're dead because they can't hurt you i use heat to make sure that he's dead perfect now it is only four of them remaining the kpz is still low from earlier which is good however obviously it would be nicer if he'd be dead because you could still take 560 damage there before you go down which means that currently is the priority take out the easiest target first then take out the most dangerous target, and then everyone else. So in this case, the KPZ is the easiest target. The FV, FV is the most dangerous target, because he can do 1,300 damage with a single shot. So, that's down to three. Take one shot into the 183. Now you have an auto-loader here, which is not good. You need two shots for the projector. You need one shot for the FV. You only have two shots. So you can have to play this very carefully. And the enemy has to make a very crucial mistake right here. And that is not played together. Now, the FE-4005 is over there somewhere on the other side. He's missing, right? Which means he's not playing with the team right now. Obviously, he's going to take a while to get closer. And the FV just completely throws it. And the FV just peeks straight into it as he arrives. That is the dumbest thing you can do. They're both one-shots, right? They don't have to do much, really. But all they do, they peek and they throw away. Now, it's a 1v1. The Brigetto is killable with one clip. The Brigetto can't kill the Yol in this situation. And... Ideally, he would want to get out there as quickly as possible, but he doesn't. He just sits there and dies, and that's basically 1v4. Like, they just... They know it's a yo. They know it has a two-shot auto, yet the 183 and the FE4 that 5 push him anyway while they're one-shots, and they die. Obviously, the KPZ couldn't do anything, but that's how you throw away, by not knowing what's going on. Luck is something that you all like to have. However, not always, but it is a very important thing in Blitz. In Blitz, you have RNG with penetration, with damage, 
with accuracy. So there can be a lot of luck involved in good matches as well. And sometimes the luck is what decides the match. That's nice. Obviously, sometimes it also decides it against you, which is not nice. However, in this situation, we're watching Razan in the Chieftain Mark VI, which is still a pretty good tank if you know what you're doing with it. However, if you don't know what you're doing with it, you're gonna fail miserably. What is also miserable is that. So, on this map, the important thing to, to do well on this map is to take this ridge line right here and then control that, and then from there, you can uh, remove any other players that might be in the city somewhat. Now, we got two heavies in the city, and they got two heavies in the city. And the M103 is not very smart. Now, here's the thing. City players are horrible. City players are, in 95% of cases, bad players. The other 5% are players that know that city players are bad. That's why they go city, because they're easy to kill. So don't go city. Ever. The object's dead, but that's not really a concern right now. As long as they're trading even, it doesn't really matter. But if they are two there, three outside, not great. Because then they get wrecked, and it's a 5v7, which you don't want to have. As you saw last game, but it worked out there. Yep, they grew. He's just going way too aggressive here for not having any support, which is not what you want to do. And now there's an isolated E100 right there. And to do well, to throw as an enemy, you gotta do basically two things. Not coordinate with your team and go to all the wrong places at the wrong times. And this E100 has precisely done that. Razvan's team here are doing the good thing. They're on the right side of the map. They're on the good side of the map. The enemies are sitting in the city, which is especially for a leopard a bit frustrating, but he does run through and get the Ritter, and now he's just doing that, which is, again, this, this, this is what throwing looks like. We just blindly run through, even though you know the enemies are there. In this case, it does work out quite well for Leo, because there is another one shot that he can take out, but obviously now, he's getting chased by Sheridan, and he's gone. Mistake number one. Don't charge in against multiple enemies at the same time. You have one gun, you have one front plate, your armor works in one direction, and that is mostly the front. Same with the gun. So always fight 1v1s. And if you're in a 1vx situation, never fight 1v1s, right? If you want the situation to be favorable to you, you always want to have an advantage, but make sure you're not in a disadvantage, right? Ideally, you want to have 2v1, 3v1, whatever, that works best. But you never want to have 1v3, 1v4, whatever. That That's not good. You always want to fight one tank at the same time. You never want to fight multiple tanks at the same time unless you have to, which is this point you've already fucked up somewhat now at this point it's a 2v2 4,000 damage already done and it's an object 704 that is camelus now there are a couple of indicators that might indicate that a player is a worse player than average such things may include going to city using no camouflage not being in a clan playing the thieves 5a things like that can be indicators don't have to be but they can be now Again, what did I say about just pushing in? That's not really great. It's a 57 heavy. He can kill you. Don't really want to do that. So, in that case, what I would have done instead, I would have gone for the object, just peeked the object, because it, you, mean, you can still survive a shot from the object. Slowly peek the object. He just shot now. So that's his second shot on the 57 heavy. You count the shells. He now has one shot. Razvan is a one shot, which is not good. However, luck is a very big factor. So is gun depression over the rear. And he bounces off the side. And now he's empty. You count. One, two, three. He's empty. He's got nothing. Which means now he's got to run away. The Chieftain is slightly faster than the fifth and Heavy. So your most important task here is to catch this guy. A lot of people make the mistake of they retreat after the enemy shot. Which is stupid because they're just vulnerable. Like, they just shot. You can shoot them. They can't fire back right now. Shoot them. Unless, obviously, there's three other enemies around that can push you. And now, at this point, it's a 1v1, which is what you want. And he's running away, which doesn't make any sense. Look at that. I mean, is, is that a competent player? He is not. So, ideally, track shot, perfect. 
And now you can watch around the corner. Does he repair? He does not seem to repair. He doesn't have a repair kit. That's why you always use two repair kits. And he's dead. That's how you throw in Blitz. Don't fight multiple tanks at the same time. Don't YOLO in like a clown. Don't just go to one side and expect to fight, play five people at the same time. Look at the minimap. Look what's going on. Ideally, keep a bit of your hit points in reserve. And then... You will never throw, and you will win all your 1vx situations. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>